I also wanted to let you know where we're at as an Orlando church and our tentative plan as we move forward. Uh, If you know, uh, Governor DeSantis made announcements of how we would begin to phase back in as a state. Uh, So we also want to uh, let you know what our thinking is as we go forward as a church, just so that you can plan. And of course, uh, we don't know exactly what this is all going to look like, but this would be a tentative plan just so uh, you know. Phase one will be what we're doing right now. We will continue to film and live stream our services every Sunday, and we would encourage you at home to watch those services and take communion together in your home as a family. Phase two, which may be June and July, if we're able to, uh, we'll continue to live stream, but we would encourage you, if you would like to, to begin to meet as a small group. Uh, That could be for a time of fellowship, even a meal afterwards, but on Sunday mornings, if you as a small group want to begin meeting, you can continue to adhere to social distancing and groups of less than 10 if you'd like, Uh, but as uh, the state opens things up, then we also would like to open some things up to get some time of fellowship together and to watch our live stream services. We will begin to entertain the idea of getting back together as a church, maybe as early as August. Uh, That might look a little bit different. We may have shorter services of smaller gatherings, uh, but that would be our tentative plan for August. And of course, in the north and southwest regions where we don't have a permanent facility, uh, that will be to be determined if we can meet at the schools and facilities that we have met in in the past. And that our hope is, is that our kids and go back to school, hopefully this September, is that that would be the time when our facilities are up and running and perhaps we are beyond the point uh, where there's a real significant danger of this pandemic and that we would return to our regional services in September. One of the things that we'd like to commit to is continuing our services on Sunday live stream so that those who are uh, perhaps more vulnerable in their health can stay home even for a little bit longer of a period of time if they choose so you could stay home and watch our live stream services. So like everything else, uh, the minute we put this announcement out, it may be out of date, (laughs) but we will be flexible uh, and adjust as we see this crisis unfold. Amen.